Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you my process for creating shadow boxes. In this process I'll work from Procreate to Inkscape, then to Glowforge. My shadow boxes usually have about four layers. I could freehand, but to save time, I'm just going to import an image and trace it. I'll draw my middle grounds and background on separate layers. Here you can see my four separate layers. I've saved each of them individually for the next part. Before I can cut my design with a laser, I gotta vectorize my drawing. First, I import my layers to Inkscape. Now I can select one of my images, then click Trace Bitmap. Check the Invert Image box, then click Apply, and I can delete the original picture. For the remaining images, I only need to select them and click Apply. I'll save these newly traced images as an SVG to prepare them for the Glowforge. I'm masking the back of my material just to minimize scorch marks. The top side will be painted. As you can see, I've added a box around each of my layers. Here's where I like to resize and adjust my designs because I can see how they fit on the material. If you hold shift, you can rotate your designs to snap to 45 degrees. I'm using 1 8 inch birch. The first three cuts will take six and a half minutes. got all my layers cut and ready to paint. I've decided to go with a monochromatic blue for this shadow box.
Now that everything's painted, I'm ready to put it all together. I like using super glue because it binds strong, but it dries fast. For my shadow boxes, I like to add quarter inch spacers to each layer. Thanks for joining me in this shadow box tutorial. If you found it useful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more art projects and tutorials. I'd love to hear your feedback or any questions in the comments below. Happy creating and see you in the next video.